Hi and welcome back to a new video. In the previous video, I demonstrated operations that can be performed on a list. In this video, we shall be dealing with dictionaries in Python. So first things first, we have to create a dictionary to perform the operations. Now, how do we create a dictionary? I'll just say my dictionary. So that's going to be in my dict variable. Give the equal sign. Open the curly braces. We create dictionaries with the help of curly braces. The speciality of dictionary data type in Python is that it holds the data in a key value pair, which is quite useful. The key is unique, but the values of the keys can be different or they can be the same. I'll just show you. So now let's go ahead and create a simple dictionary for the programming language, which I'm demonstrating now. So since it's a string name is a string, so you have to give it within the quotes. And give a colon and just say Python and we separate each key value pair with the help of a comma and let us say the difficulty level Python is indeed very easy compared to other programming languages I'll say easy so now we have created a dictionary the next thing I want to access the name I want Python to be printed let's go ahead and print that go ahead with the print statement for the variable name that is my dict and open the square brackets and give the name it's very much case sensitive okay in my case it's the name so now let's see what happens look at that we get python okay. similarly if you want to print the difficulty you can just go ahead and say again print my dict of difficulty yeah it's going to run this and we get both python is easy simple also i'll create another dictionary is equal to open the curly braces let us say one is to python and then two the value of the second key is let us say java i'm not giving the quotes because these are integers since these are the key values with integer type i need not give it within quotes and let's go ahead and say print my dict open the square brackets and say two okay so i have to give my dict one of two now this will definitely work as intended yeah there we have we have java now what if i wanted to change java to let us say javascript okay so we'll go ahead and modify that for that my dict one open the square brackets so which is the value we want to change that is second one that is this one okay so that is the one that's not exactly the index that's the key value i've given there and we assign something to it so we'll assign javascript And now let's go ahead and print my rec one in the place of Java. JavaScript should be there and it's there. And now I wanted another pair over here. Let's say I wanted C. Let's come to the next line and just say my dict refer the variable name as always and then give the square brackets and then say three is equal to C. Yeah, this should work and we'll go ahead and print the dictionary. Look at that. We get a new key value pair. Initially, this was not there. As soon as I wrote this line of code, this thing was taken care. Of. Now, suppose if I want to remove any key value pair, it's simple. Just give the DEL similar to that of the list refer the variable name and give the key not the value give the key that is three that is this one i don't want c plus plus to be there so now again let's go ahead and print the variable or the dictionary yeah look at that there we go again we're back to javascript and python now what if i wanted only keys in this dictionary let's go ahead and type you could even store it in a variable and then manipulate it or even modify it but let's go ahead and print that and the function used here is keys function 
okay so we'll get only the keys so we'll get only one and two let's have a check look at that it says also it's mentioning the data type dictionary and specifying the keys as well as one and two those are the keys now what if you wanted to have the values simple just copy paste this very simple now what do you want you want the values so we'll say dot values when you go ahead and print that we'll get python and java javascript okay so we're gonna get javascript and python and i want to know the length of the dictionary so let's go ahead and say print you can experiment most of this by just using the print statement when you are exploring the basics len is the function name give the variable or the dictionary in which it is stored and it should say 2 yeah it says 2 now i'll show you a cool trick over here i have this i have this first one right my dict name python difficulty level is easy now let us go ahead and store it in another variable called a is equal to my dict so when I print A, the same thing will be printed, which is quite obvious. Okay. But if I say, okay, let me remove the statement. Now if I go ahead and say my dict of three is equal to new value. Now observe over here now of course my dict that is this variable will get a third parameter key value pair and let us print that and check okay there we go we have it the new value in the third place we can give any string if you want also i did not make any changes to this one right have a look i did not make any changes to a in particular let's go ahead and print a look at that even a has got new value pair now i've copied the, the content that is a key value pair from the from this variable to variable a and whatever modification i do in my dict variable the same thing will be reflected even in the variable a so how do we avoid it suppose if you don't want that to happen you can just say dot copy my dict is just a copy in the in the variable a now when i go ahead and print a the new value is missing look at that new value is missing because that's not getting reflected it's only a copy and last but not least let's go ahead and clear the dictionary just refer the variable name and say dot clear now it's cleared it has removed all the items from the dictionary now let's go ahead and print that and let's see what's the output for that okay it shows an empty dictionary what if i want to delete it i'll give it over here itself del that is delete and the variable name now let's go ahead and print that it should say it's given error look at that it's giving an error it's not defined because it's deleted but these are the operations on dictionaries i hope you've liked this video if so smash the like button also do subscribe to channel data science galaxy also check out the video regarding the operations on lists and thanks for watching